knows more about why cats behave in their mysterious ways than Roger Tabor. We say no one. He has devoted more than 30 years pioneering studies and observing cats in over 25 countries. He's here to share his knowledge and experience so you can enjoy the benefits that come with a better understanding of this wonderful creatures that we all call cats. When kittens are this small and this cute, it's very hard to think of them as hunters, but hunters they are. And the great thing about the cat family is that it really doesn't matter whether you're thinking of great big tigers from Siberia or the slightly smaller tigers from India or the very small little house cat. They all have within them the need to hunt. They are carnivores. They are the supreme mammalian carnivore. And as such, even as you see this one learning to play with the little ball here and getting his eye in, it's all building up towards the time of adulthood when he needs to be a hunter. Carnivores are clever. It's what attracts us to them. After all, we could live with gerbils or rabbits, but we choose to live with carnivores. And hunting is what the animal is entirely about in its evolutionary background. And yet, it's not just there with a pattern. They really do have to learn how to do it. They've got the claws, they've got the teeth, they've got the eyes, but mum has to train them with the how. And by playing with them and teasing them, they gradually improve their skills. So by understanding how they develop these skills and their relationship as they develop, we can get a better relationship ourselves with our cats. I'm doing such an important job here. It may not look like it, but playing with kittens is just about the most important thing you can do in a cat's life. Because what I'm doing at the moment is socializing this kitten. It may just look like play. Well, it is play and it's fun. But there's a profound change that's happening to this kitten because of that. For the rest of its life, it won't be as wary of people. It won't get that adrenaline surge and all the anxiety that goes with it. Because after all, kittens, back through evolutionary time, just grow up into being wild cats. But living with us, we don't want cats to be fearful. We want them to be relaxed. So there's a trick, and it's a very profound trick. We pretend we're litter mates. Now, how do we do that? Well, when this little one's eyes opened at the ages of 10 days or thereabouts, up till then, it had just been mum's teat and warmth, and suddenly, there are all these litter mates around. And that's really the trick we're doing. We're suddenly putting ourselves in and playing with the kittens from that age onwards. And then they learn about us as litter mates. Then for the rest of its life, it will think of us as sort of cats and will be less fearful. And there does come a point, and it's round about 12 weeks, beyond which you're not really going to be able to socialize a cat properly. And frankly, from eight weeks on, it's a hard task if the kitten hasn't been socialized before. And that's quite a important thing I'm saying because it's really saying that you really do need to check out when you pick up your kitten that somebody has done this very simple task of playing with a kitten every day just for a little bit of time. If they haven't been socialized you can't really change them that much. You can sort of tame them like you tame a tiger but realistically to socialize them you need to make sure somebody has been in there on a daily basis just playing with a kitten. It's not a hard job.